today it's your girl Michaela Janae here back with another video and I have a quick little video today today I'll be talking about how to stop romanticizing relationships now I'm really passionate about this so let's just hop right into the video so if you don't know what romanticizing relationships means it means that you go back and sometimes you twist the facts a little bit in your head or you seem to forget what happened between you and a person whenever you feel kind of complacent in life or sometimes you just think about things at night you can go back in your head and think about certain relationships you had with your significant other or with girlfriends boyfriends you start to think wait why did me and him break up why did me and her stop being friends like all I can remember is the good things about it and I can't seem to remember anything bad you paint a prettier picture than actually what it was when it happened and today I want to come to you and be <laughs> the sign to tell you to stop doing that a lot of the times all we're doing is hurting ourselves and it causes us to backpedal like my mom always says people have an X in front of their name for a reason whenever they have an X in front of their name something went on during the time they were in your life to make you step away from that situation what I want you to know today is that God removes people from your life for a reason he heard conversations you didn't he saw things that you could not have seen a lot of times we sit there and we read old messages or we you know think about the happy times but you forget while you were in a situation you saw something in that person that you didn't need in your life at that time or at that moment and someone who wasn't going to better your future everything happens for a reason and a lot of us try to go back and see where the mistake came in and maybe we misjudged the person or maybe we could have overlooked some things but I want to tell you to trust your intuition and to trust yourself okay stop thinking that you you did something wrong or that this half of a person is good enough for you and that's something that happens a lot because especially when it comes to friends and significant others we'll think well dang I don't have a boyfriend right now so maybe I should have stuck with him maybe it could have got better no it couldn't have nine times out of ten it couldn't have with that person you are exactly where you are for a reason the people that's in your circle right now whether it be small or big are there for a reason it's not good to to keep looking back because if you keep looking back you're gonna stumble and trip into what's in front of you and you're gonna miss a lot of things so that's something I really had to think about as of late because it's like so many relationships have ended but I have had to realize that I was in those people's lives for a season to just be around them to just be a blessing to them that relationship was good for that period in both of our lives it was mutual like it needed to happen to bring me to where I am now but right now I only have like two or three friends and you would think like maybe I could have had more or I should have had more if this happened or if this situation wouldn't have happened constantly dwelling on and thinking about the past is not going to give you increase for where you are right now and I want you guys to notice how how peaceful your life has been since certain people have exited and that's something that always draws me back in it's like okay I released that person from my life because their time was up there wasn't adding anything into the relationship it wasn't healthy it had to go and now I'm more at peace sometimes people can get loneliness and peace kind of confused and I don't want to you guys to think that loneliness isn't real because of course loneliness is a real emotion and all emotions are valid what I realized when it comes to whenever you're thinking about the old relationships and romanticizing them and making them look better than they actually were I want you to talk to God about it and then if you really are questioning it ask him be like Lord in this relationship what went wrong did I do something wrong what happened here see what he has to say about it and that's the great thing about having a relationship with God and in those moments you're never really alone first of all so you don't have to backpedal and go back to things that were easy and that's what a lot of us do when it comes to old relationships old friendships those things were easy but as we grow and mature things and life tend to get a little more hectic it tends to get a little bit more harder that's when you ask God for strength and you mature and you grow I do not want any of my people to fall back into old patterns of living just because they're more comfortable and easier to accept 
was okay remember you left certain habits certain people certain things and relationships behind for a reason and that reason was to improve your life in some way and right now you cannot move forward if you keep looking back so that's what I just had to say on that okay stop romanticizing these relationships everything ended for a reason and don't paint that person out to be somebody that they weren't of course there were good times in every situation but forgive them for what they did but don't forget why they're no longer in your life so i think that is all for this monday's maja speaks holla at me in the comments and i always holla back i think i also like i would want to do a q a of sorts but I don't have any social media to ask me any questions so if you guys ever have any questions make sure you leave them in the comments down below about anything just ask me some questions so I'll see you guys in my next video